Hi, I'm Ken Jung, and welcome back to Doc Support. Now the director to my right is saying, no pressure, just have fun. Just because it got 22 million views the first time around, don't think like that. You know what? Go the other way around. If this doesn't get Adele-like numbers, I will f myself. Doc Support 2, Electric Boogaloo. Let's do this shit. At Lexi Alajai. She has way too many eyes in that fucking name. Never trust a person with five eyes. That's what I always say. Can you get sick from flying somewhere hella hot, then back to somewhere cold? You know, I really always respect patients that uses words like hella. Yeah, of course you can get sick. What kind of question is that? That's more common sense. Any extreme change in temperature um, can have your body react in a certain way that will cause you to have your immune response muted and then not be prepared for the transitory change in environment. Booyah. It's right off the top of my fucking dome, y'all. All right, next. At Kip Pierce Jr. says, how much is too much drinking to the point it's a problem? Four days a week? A drink or two a day? Only on the weekends? Situational per person? Can you ask more questions in a tweet? You know what? If you have more than three questions in a tweet, you're an alcoholic. And that's what you are, Kip. I get some help. You obviously do a lot of day drinking. And day drinking, as you know, is some medical fact. It leads to annoying questions on the internet. Wish you the best. Chark Isha. Can someone tell me, well, hi, I'm sick after getting a flu shot that's supposed to prevent me from getting sick. One question mark one. God, that's actually a very nice question because sometimes there is this myth that says you can get, I got the flu from the flu shot. That is not the case. If you're already having a cold, okay, and if you get a flu shot, you can get a little bit sick from the combination of having a cold and that flu shot, but you cannot get the flu from a flu shot. You have a better chance of having a weaker uh, flu symptomatology than somebody else who didn't get the flu shot. You should get the flu shot. At Eileen or at Ausiki. Oh, that's, yeah, that's cute. Is there any magical remedies for a cold and a runny nose? I, I feel so unhealthy for the time being. That's actually a great question. And um, the problem is there is actually no cure for the common cold. You just have to treat the symptoms. There is actually no um, antiviral. There's no antibiotic. You just have to ride out a common cold. And uh, you know that's actually a very good question. So great job, Eileen. Just work on your at Twitter handle. It's horrible. Pancake Dango asks, what's E. coli? Is that like our Carly? <laughs> Come on, man. E. coli is a bacteria that can cause massive, overwhelming body infection. I, Carly, is Miranda Cosgrove, okay? I am here to protect Miranda Cosgrove's rights, which is, I think, is why they call it the Miranda rights. Shut up. Alyssa Ashley says, does anyone else get sick when they're really stressed? If so, how the f do you prevent that? Well, first of all, stop cursing in your tweets, okay? It does you no mother good, okay? <laughs> also, you can get sick if you really are stressed. Your immune system gets compromised, and um, yeah, it can make you more prone to get colds. Look at me. Think of me as the ultimate role model. I can do anything. I'm a doctor. I'm an actor. I'm a comedian. I'm an Instagram model. I can do anything. So let me tell you, just be relaxed. Just be cool. Just chill the f out. Be like my friend Lewis here, all right? He's relaxed, right? Oh, sh Lost his brain. God damn it. How the f do you put a brain back in? At Gomer Blog, what's your favorite heart chamber? Mine's right ventricle. Left ventricle gets all the attention. Meanwhile, right ventricle's over there taking care of business. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I'm more of a left atrium gal myself. That really leads into, it's the Stockton to Malone of the left side of the heart. It, it gives the assist to the left ventricle so it can go for the dunk. It's like the, the old Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, 
LA Clippers, if you will, relationship. That's that that's the left side of the heart. So left atrium is actually my favorite heart chamber. That's a really great question, Gomer Block. At the Boda Show, ask, is it pointless to drink kombucha whilst taking antibiotic for an ear infection? I'm assuming the antibiotics would kill the beneficial gut bacteria from the kombucha. Kombucha. Um let me just um no, I'm not calling anyone. I'm looking at this tweet. I don't really understand. Is it called kombucha or kombucha? Kombucha. Okay. Is it pointless to drink kombucha whilst taking antibiotics for an ear infection? Great. Thank you. That was my wife who's a doctor, and um, the official answer is, I don't know. Grace at A Fool of My Heart says, how long should I go without using earphones after having a really bad ear infection. Um, did you ever think using those earphones would cause that f***ing ear infection? Maybe get a speakerphone or something. Let's say you do have a really bad ear infection, which is called otitis externa. That's actually an infection of the outer ear canal. And that's very common, actually, with having earbuds. You would probably use antibiotic or antifungal topical eardrops for seven to 10 days without using earphones. So, see what I did there? What started out as being really obnoxious, you know, I have a heart, all right? Quite frankly, I have a fool of my heart. <laughs> At Sojolus, is physical affection worth bronchitis? Asking for a friend. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> are you French kissing somebody's lung? I, I don't know what this question is. Um, Look, if you're making out with someone who has a cold, um, you know, just, uh, you know, be advised. Just uh, be, be careful, you know? Like, I love my wife, and she is always worth getting bronchitis for. And, and in fact, we wrote that in our vows. I'll have you in sickness, in health, in bronchitis, in most forms of walking pneumonia. At Vin Duke 78 y'all be peeing a lot when you should drink, or should I see a doctor? I think what um, he's trying to say in, in, in John Hopkins' medical language is, um, excuse me, I, I tend to have a lot of frequency and combined with bouts of retention. Is it my prostate? Should I see a urologist? In all seriousness, you know, if you find yourself going to the bathroom a lot when you drink, you gotta ask yourself, like caffeine is a natural diuretic. So if you're drinking a lot of coffee, it actually makes you diurese, makes you urinate a lot. But let's say you're drinking like regular amounts of water that you normally drink and you find yourself going to the bathroom a lot, urinating a lot, or if there's blood in your urine. No, you definitely should see a doctor. It really depends on how much you drink and what you're drinking and is that different from your normal routine of drinking. So, great question. At Shaq Strife, how to avoid being nervous while checking blood pressure. That is actually a very common cause of uh, elevated blood pressure in a doctor's visit. You can get what they call white coat hypertension. I think the key actually is for the doctor um, to recheck it again. If it's really if it's abnormally high and it's usually not very high, maybe you just uh, wait five, 10 minutes and recheck it again, it should be fine. At Ashley Renee 94 says, can you lie when filling out paperwork at the doctor's office? Of course you can. You should always lie when filling out paperwork. Telling the truth in life rarely does you any good unless it fits your narrative. So, can you lie when filling out your paperwork? Not all the time, but you should. What the f kind of question is that? At Mikhail Ludoff ask, does anybody else forget how to breathe when the doctor puts the stethoscope on their chest? Actually, you know, to be technical about it, uh, Mikhail, you don't forget to breathe or you die. It's like maybe taking a deep breath, inhaling or exhaling. And that's not your fault. That should be the doctor's, uh, if you forget to do that, the doctor should tell you to take a deep breath, to inhale or exhale. At max yourself out, I have yet to see anyone ask the real questions, such as, is a placebo fake if it works? Dude, that's actually an amazing question. There is a medical phenomenon called the placebo effect. If something may be psychosomatic in nature. If you have a placebo used to treat that, that actually may be therapeutic. So that actually means the placebo works. So that's like a great, great question. 
Auto Race asks, I have a question for my doctor friends of Twitter first. How often should I get in a tetanus shot? Second, how often do I know if I have a tetanus? Third, how often, how much is a tetanus shot? First of all, you spelled tetanus wrong, but I'll forgive you for that. It, getting a tetanus shot at least uh, once every 10 years is very important. At Le Marique, I cannot stop craving orange juice. Do I have scurvy? Normally I would laugh at someone who puts four question marks in a tweet, but scurvy is a vitamin C deficiency. Orange juice is full of vitamin C. In America, in, in any westernized country, in an industrialized country, chances, you know, scurvy is very, very uncommon, but um, if it's something that you're really concerned about, you know, I would just see, I would just talk to your physician. All right, I think we're done with doc support, and I just wanna say thank you so much. Thank you, Louis. Sorry I didn't get a chance to talk to you that much this time, but most of these questions are, are really good. Uh, some of them absolutely suck, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Have a good day.